Right, might as well just get on with it. Okay, uh, got on. This is this is it. This is ha this is it. This is it. Once the information comes out, it's here. Then it's just a question of it filtering to people's heads, people making sense of it, and then it becoming more widespread. The information is here. I don't know if I've been waiting for a missing piece of information, a missing puzzle. But they've just been coming in thick and fast. Like, I've got a, a, a major one for my personal soul journey. I, I'll, I'll fill you in later on that. This specific piece of information, which you probably seen in the thumbnail, I would imagine. Micronova. Micronova. So, go on then. I'll show you what I, I was doing to uh, to try and, you know, to try and sort of get the big picture, really. That's what I was attempting to do here. You know, all the mysteries in the world, and sort of pyramids, Atlantis, and all these words sort of coming out, basically. <laughs> Um, and I just thought, well, I could probably go on forever, and what was, you know, was there something missing here? And, you know, I was thinking, the Earth, God, that's such a big thing, the Earth, because what I was going to do with this piece of paper was sort of link things together, and I was thinking you could take all these words and you can think, well, there's children of the good, the good things there. And there's the children of the evil one, the bad sort of things there. And I was thinking, you know, how much is linked to the earth? Caught, caught, caught almost everything. And then, but the moon has been playing a part. And now the sun, the sun has been just coming to me. It's just been saying, listen, there's something in the sun, you know. And because of all my, um, you know, wave stuff. You know, the, and those are these 800 year waves related to the sun and people thinking that the sun is going into a period of low activity. And I've just done a video saying I think, you know, this is just the calm before the storm. The, the sun isn't going into a low activity. Maybe the last decade or so has just been a little blip as it's done before and then boom back up, right? And then... I go over to Suspicious Observer's channel because I sort of start looking at the sun. If you know if the sunspots are going to start picking up, and I thought, well, I might as well look at Suspicious Observer because you know he does these little videos all the time, just keeping track of things. And then he's going on about this micronova, and it, every eleven thousand years, this sun cycle has a micronova, which is basically, you know, a supernova would be the sun exploding uh, into just dust and everything. But this micronova is, um, let me change the picture. This micronova, it's, you know, it's not a full supernova and it's not even a nova, but it's bigger than a dwarf nova. Apparently there's such things as a dwarf nova. So, so not like a solar flare, but the whole sun would do something, boom. And as you can see in this picture here, there are these concentric circles written on caves everywhere. Because if you watch, he's done a film, uh, you know, a very good one, putting a good, an excellent case forward to this. And kind of, they know this it can be the only possible answer when you bury into it that's how they're saying it is because it's the only thing that makes things add up there's certain isotopes or something in the dust that could only be formed with some sort of nova getting up to these certain heats and um something about black glass and there's a lot of black glass on the moon um so 
it's it yeah it becomes the only possible solution and then it just makes sense with everything these periods every 11,000 years where you know what the sun what a micronova does is it actually causes an ice age and what they found out with an ice age is that for an ice age to happen it can't just gradually get colder and colder um, that wouldn't actually cause an ice age because you need a heck of a lot more snowfall in 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 those regions to pack up that much ice that quickly so what they're saying what has to happen it has to have some extreme heat event which puts all the atmosphere um, all the water vapor and stuff goes into the atmosphere and then and then uh, and then a cooling um, and it falls as snow and you get a, a prolonged cooling period which would be all this dust you know if there's all this dust between the Sun and the earth then you're gonna get this uh, cooling effect and then apparently something like you know the, the, the after about so many years maybe 30 <laughs> the the sun uh, that's my idea by the, way. the sun does a big solar flare boom melts all the ice and ice age over <laughs> that's so neat isn't it that's that's so neat it's so like a god thing now they think what may cause the 11,000 year period is something to do with the galaxy and different bands that we go through and that you can that's what's affecting the magnetic field on the earth and how come some of the planets are showing signs of being um, further into this than the others but I'm not sure about that. So, uh, whatever causes it, this 11,000 year period, whether it's something inbuilt in the sun, it's just, you know, going through it, this is what something which the sun does, you know, and what's interesting as well, after it has this micronova, none of the material will escape the solar system, so it's all keeping it within, and that's kind of how they know as well that um, this black glass and stuff must have been caused by our own sun because none of it would have come from another solar system so with that said like yes and we are due one you know we, we it was about 11,000 years ago that it last happened so we are due one and that's been getting me thinking how you know is it possible that we've um, you know, we have the, this 11,000 year period is like, right, you beings, you have a chance to reach enlightenment, awakening or something within this 11,000 year period. And if you don't, boom, reset, start again. So if that is the case, I think we've made it. I think we've done it. Because this is going to happen in 2090. So this you won't get from anywhere else. This is from my decoding of the Revelation, Book of Revelation. So um, this, I th I've got to reread it. Maybe I should do that now. But the uh, sixth trumpet and everything talks about this massive earthquake, one that's like never been seen. and And then all this like blackness and stuff. Should I get it now? No, I'll wait until a bit later. If this goes on for long, and then the seventh, seventh is all sort of as rumblings and noises and everything that could be from the the melting. So the seventh one would be twenty one, twenty eight. So that would be when everything melts and start again. And you know, hopefully, this time retaining um, more enlightenment and understanding of love and that was what you know is beginning I've thought it before 
I know, I know I have, but I'm beginning, be, beginning to know it more. It's beginning to be known by my body. My body understands it more. That it, when you do something with love, so particularly when there's a feeling coming, and I want to, I want to feel this feeling, but like alone, I don't want to feel the feeling. It's like, and I'm, you know, my mind is sort of trying to play tricks to stop me feeling you know do you know what I mean and then I just have to remember no it's okay like the feel I can do the feeling and I know that once I've felt the feeling it's much better for me and I know that I can do it with love and and then you sort of start to feel a bit selfish. Oh, I only want to do it with love when it's, you know, when it's something I don't really want to do. But, you know, love is okay with that. It's understanding. <laughs> so you do it. And then you're like, wow. It works. It works. And it. And it means, it, what I understood today as well for the first time, it means I don't have to bank any love. And that's a really freeing feeling. Because before when I was feeling God and feeling God's love, it would fill me, fill my cup in a sense. And I would splash it around everywhere like willy-nilly, <laughs> basically, until it was used up. But I had this feeling like that I needed to bank some love in case something challenging comes but when I, if I know that all I have to do is feel it with love when anything anything challenging comes remember feel it with love and when I was getting that good positive feeling as well I, that also needs to be felt with love <laughs> so um these are big things, big things happening, like this micronova, it's, it's huge, it's huge. So I don't know if you want to look at this, I mean it's pretty obvious, isn't it? And isn't all this COVID-19 stuff? Um, actually starting to show potentially why we've we we just had in the UK them come out and say that um, uh, th these gangsters were planning murders using these phones that were encrypted really expensive phones and the journalists had got wind of this but had to keep it secret and and then the police had made a load of arrests and that um, and then the media were allowed to say a certain amount, you know, for the first time, yeah, we've been keeping this stuff secret. Did that somehow lead to, lead to Ghislaine Maxwell because suddenly they were able to find her? Uh, then suddenly else today, today in the Times have been talking about this uh, uh, pro-Chinese commies um, infiltrating the Labour Party, Corbyn, Donald, whatever his name was, um, who's the guy who liked Blair and Brown, their mentor guy, Mandelson, and Heseltine, a bit weird, I thought he was a conservative, but, <clears throat> so that's coming out, you know, something I wanted to mention before, I was going to sort of try and do a timeline of how how the lockdown has been ending but there was a uh, fighter jet an American fighter jet that went down in the North Sea I think it was and then the next day they started releasing the lockdown and that was a couple of weeks ago you know I don't think these things are coincidences you know stuff is going on behind the scenes that you know they're not going to tell us about and it's all getting big and hairy but it's looking good for for the good guys I think um, hopefully we'll see 
So, um, what else was there? I don't know, might keep it might keep it short then. Might keep it a short one and not bore the crap out of all of you. <laughs> I am making my son's dinner, so I'll tell you what we'll leave it at that and then maybe do another one later. Okay. Ciao.